Gluten is found in wheat, barley, and rye, and it's one of the most consumed proteins on Earth. It's what gives bread its chewy texture. Humans have been eating wheat and the gluten in it for at least 10,000 years. For people with celiac disease, about 1% of the population, the briefest exposure to gluten can trigger an immune reaction powerful enough to severely damage the small intestine and cause long-term digestive problems. The specialists at Advanced Gastroenterology and Surgery Associates explain celiac disease and how it's treated. Celiac disease is actually very common. It's, uh, supposed to be it's a one in a hundred people. Like many other areas of, of, um, of disease processes, some patients may have it very mild, some may have it very extensively. Um, so it's a very common condition. It's a gluten sensitive enteropathy where people have sort of allergies to gluten products like rye, wheat and barley. So pastas, rice, a lot of uh, carbohydrate foods have gluten and the patients develop this autoimmune reaction to these products. The body causes antibodies that will not allow the GI or the small bowel to absorb wheat products. The antibody causes the small bowel, to, the hairline in the small bowel to be blunted. And so when it fights against the gluten product, it causes the absorptive surface of the small bowel to be decreased. So therefore, then patients cannot absorb these products and then they have symptoms. And patients can come in with significant symptoms of severe weight loss, um, abdominal pain, bloating. And some patients may be very mild, may just have a little bloating, a little bit of loose ball movement. So any patient that we actually see with diarrheal symptoms or bloating, they should be checked for um, celiac disease because it's easily treatable. The treatment is just diet. We now realize that some patients may have what's called gluten sensitivity, meaning that they don't actually get the disease with the malabsorptive problems, but they may get some mild symptoms, a little bit of bloating, a little bit of loose bowel movements when they, when they use products high in gluten. So those patients are actually, without the celiac disease panel becoming normal, but just using a gluten-free diet, they actually feel better. The world's first vaccine aimed at curing celiac disease is slated to begin full trials later this year, and residents of the Australian state of Victoria will be among the first humans to give it a try. The vaccine, called Nexvax2, was developed by Australian scientists and is aimed at desensitizing patients to the peptides in gluten that trigger the damaging reactions in their immune system. For more information on Advanced Gastroenterology and Surgery Associates and their services, please click the Against the Grain story link icon on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.